Hey, it's Ike with Create or Die. Today we're going to be modeling a piggy bank in Blender. We're using box modeling techniques, uh, going to push and pull on some points and some edges, all while staying in uh, mirror mode. Because why model both sides of the model if you only have to model one, right? It's a very symmetrical item, a piggy bank. And to wrap it all up, once we throw the subdivision surface on this bad boy, we're going to jump into the sculpting tools to just push and pull some of those points a little bit more organically. So if this is new to you, check it out. You may want to watch it a couple of times so that it sticks because we're planning on moving kind of quick for my more intermediate to advanced viewers. Let's go do it. Inside of Blender, uh, we're going to start with a cube. So grab that cube, go ahead and split the cube, and then add a mirror modifier to that bad boy. Now we're only working on one side. So continue to split the cube, Command R, and then move edges around to give it a general shape. And you know, we're trying to fill out what it is that we're building here. Using the extrude tool to add detail to the face or pushing and pulling of points. We're gonna to continue to add some detail into the snout, uh, slicing some new geometry at this point with the knife tool, uh, one of the best tools in Blender. Just slice for modeling anyways. You know, and, and obviously we're creating end gons at this point, but it doesn't matter. We're just trying to kind of uncover the shape. We're going to add some ears and we're using the same techniques. I kind of skipped over a big part of some of the detailing there, but uh, you'll get it. And same thing with legs. Just slice in some points or some edges, extrude those out, and then back to the snout because we're, we don't have a plan. We're not working with drawings that we're working meticulously over top of. This is a uh, kind of a free flow practice. Jump over to the sculpting tab. Grab the clay strips brush and just go ahead and bring those cheeks out a little bit on this piggy bank and then hop on over to the move brush. We're going to want to sweep those ears forward. All right. Making the move brush really large you can start to uh, pull at the tops and the sides of the piggy bank to better shape it. And don't be afraid to use smooth brush by holding down shift to smooth out those areas. Jump back over to the snout. You're going to want to use your uh, sharp draw brush or draw sharp brush to you know, sharpen up the details in the snout. Finally, finally, <laughs> we're going to add the eyes with a cylinder. So while in edit mode, hit shift A and then go ahead and uh, scale that move the points around as needed to get some nice oval shaped eyes so i hope you found this valuable and that you're feeling that much more confident with your modeling skills inside of blender if you found this valuable please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thanks a lot